as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talked about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best of the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Two teams trying to stake their claim to postseason football. Week 14 of the NFL is underway. And no run back here on the opening kickoff as we'll start at the 25. So here come the defending champs led out by the reigning MVP of the National Football League, a two-time winner now in Patrick Mahomes. And he ought to have a lot of pep in his step after last week's performance because he did exactly as you want him to play if you're a coach. Three touchdown passes, zero interceptions, which usually means you're making a lot of right decisions out there. And got him the win. First play, Mahomes looking to throw it. And his first look is incomplete. And CD, you look at this defense, you know, what kind of pressure are they under trying to stop a team that has won five games in a row? Well, to me, it makes their job harder because you know you're going up against an offense that's playing at an elite level. And sometimes you can get too caught up in trying to play the perfect game. You're trying to be too precise, too fine, instead of just letting it rip. And I think that's more the priority than trying to be absolutely perfect. Back to the air on second down. It's Mahomes. Over the middle, that's caught by Rice. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. And CD, defensively, you're going against a hot quarterback coming off a three-touchdown game in their victory a week ago. But what's the big key for them to try to slow him down? You ask all the tough questions, don't you, partner? Because with this guy, if you blitz him, he takes advantage of that man coverage and burns you. But if you bring on those extra DBs, he sits back there and does what he wants. To me, it's going to be those DBs. When they catch the ball, big-time tackles really put it on those receivers. Mahomes firing complete. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And the officials here going to pause the game for a second. Looks like there's an injured chief on the field. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead. From the 48-yard line, here's second and two. And now the Bills are going to stop it as they call a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Two yards to go, second down. Here's Mahomes to throw. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. And Kelsey's going to have a Chiefs first down as he'll take this down inside the 45. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. They'll get this complete to Kadarius Tony. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far in the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. Looking to throw is Mahomes. That'll be caught by Rice. Touchdown! Rasheed Rice with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Chiefs will jump on top of the game's first score here this afternoon. One of the keys to their long winning streak has been scoring first. An ideal drive right there, getting the first six points of the ball game. Do you go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator? Remember oh, yeah. what he told us? Absolutely. With some teams, I script to probe in the early part of the game. Other teams, I script to attack. They've been in attack mode for these ball games and continue that in this one. 
Here's the Chiefs kickoff unit now as they'll send this one away. And he will make it back to the 15, and that's it. Good coverage there by the kick team. Well, here come the Bills for their first possession, led out by their 27-year-old quarterback in year six. It's Josh Allen. And he's had such a sensational season to this point, leading the NFL in passing yards. He's been helped out a lot by an outstanding set of receivers, and he's quick to give them credit. But I think even they would tell you that he's the guy that makes this offense go. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 15. Play action, Allen. And this is incomplete. Very lucky to get that one back. That nearly picked at second down now. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Now a second and 10. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen, they'll roll him out right. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. I did like his decision making there to make sure they picked up something instead of forcing the throw. Now they've got a little management play coming up to try and pick up the first down. And don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it and runs again. Now they need two. Here's third down. Now Allen. That is taken down. The Chiefs sack. And the defense coming through on third down. A loss of seven to bring up four. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. Oh, a big decision here early. Look at this. They're going to go for it on their own side of the field. They're going to try and throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Fourth down conversion plays, you usually think one, two, three yards, maybe ten. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Allen. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. It's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives them a first down. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere, and they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people, but you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well, and that's what they just did on that play. On play action, Allen. It's hauled in by Hardy. That'll go for a gain of seven. And it'll be second down. The Bills hit 9-3 and three here on the year. And they come in off the extended break from the bye. And I think it was much needed as well because you play two, two and a half months. You know you're ready for some time off in order to get prepared for the home stretch. In fact, when they looked at the schedule to start the season, I think they liked where their open week fell. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. One thing that you're going to see from this offense is that they love the matchup with their wide receivers against this second. Secondary, that one wasn't successful. But don't expect them to back away from attacking all game long. The eighth.
play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. They run first carry for Damian Harris. And a strong run there as he'll maneuver his way down inside the 15. It's a gain of 13 and a Buffalo first down. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. Operating from the red zone now. Allen, flush to his right, setting up the screen, Harris. So a good spin move there before he's taken down. A nice little game. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is because you've got to get his attention because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Josh Allen, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Bills respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. Well, no surprise to anyone who watches the NFL there. Remember, Josh Allen, seven touchdowns on the ground last year, added one more in the playoffs. In fact, the active leader in touchdowns by a quarterback with 39 coming into 2023. The big horse rides again. And now Sean McDermott's made the call. They'll go for two. They're going to run it with Harris. And this play is not going to work. He stops short of the goal line, and this will remain a 7-6 ball game. So why go for that there? First half, you could have tied the game at 7. Why try to get the lead? Feels like an analytics call, doesn't it? That that's starting to really get into the game where they're studying where you can make extra points and the whole deal and, you know, get an advantage. But I don't know that we have enough data yet to really say this is the right play or the wrong play. Maybe in two or three more NFL say, seasons. change. Exactly. Two or three more NFL seasons, they will have a much better study and much better case of what we're going to do. And they'll start at the 25 as McKinnon decides against returning it. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent offer a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, I think you're not telling yourself the truth. If you don't think there's some fun ups and shit going on right now, because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Open man, it's the tight end, Kelsey. And he's finally taken down, and it's a big game there on what will turn out to be the final play. Second quarter from KC. It's the Chiefs in possession of the football as they've got it with a first and ten. Mahomes going to throw. It's caught inside the 25. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. Sean McDermott is going to throw out the challenge flag. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And a couple of yards as they move it from the 21 to the 19. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job 
is simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. Under pressure, and he'll go down back at the 26-yard line. Von Miller doing what he does best with a sack. Yeah, some real defensive resistance there, saying not so fast to a good drive. They had marched to the end zone the last time out. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. So on fourth down, Mahomes off. Harrison Butker on for the Chiefs field goal. This a 43-yard attempt. Butker's kick here is good. And they bump the lead up to four now at 10-6. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? The PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. And you figure this should be a healthy, arrested, a focused unit. And they're working on a good winning streak. They had the week off last week. This is really a team, Charles, that should be in top four. I would agree absolutely with that. What coaches worry about, what organizations worry about, though, is overconfidence. They've been playing so well. Now they've had that extra time off. And we've seen teams come back off the open week and come out flat. So what a lot of good coaches do is they kind of game plan for that with their teams on defense. They may blitz more in the beginning to get them going. On offense, they may go more up-tempo. Anything to get them out of that lethargy right at the beginning. On second down, here's Allen. That's to the tight end, Davidson. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Flushed out right. Open man is Davidson, the tight end. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. From the 44-yard line, here's second and a couple. And again, it's Allen. And his throw here is incomplete. At this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And he's going to wind up with a first down as he's able to even dive for a little extra yardage at the tail end there. They get six on the pick up there as the drive will continue. They had yet to run the ball at all on this drive, but third and short, definitely was a great time to dial one up. First down, and they go back to Harris. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. From the 42 now, here's second and two. On play action, Allen looking for Diggs, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Joe Ron Williams. And the Chiefs are going to take over once again at their own 47 yard line. Well, you go by the numbers, the follows the temperature goes down. Sometimes the passing efficiency. And now they're going to say, even the routine throws are going to be harder for the quarterbacks. And this one, they want to get picked off. Here's the Kansas City offense now. So they get set to take over. And they're not going to play this concern about it. They got the field goal last time. They're not going to put a drive in the end zone. I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just set up for three except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> <laughs> Not one that I've ever met. Pacheco gets it again on second down. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football.
Mahomes now on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. But you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right, they did something to disrupt that timing. Mahomes again here on second and ten. Caught Kelsey, left side. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 25 yards there on the catch and run. But when you hit him on the move like that, he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam. Oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. Mahomes now on first down. That ball caught. It's Rice. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. Good stop throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Mahomes to throw once more. And he's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. Kadarius Tooney, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. And the kick makes it through, but flags come flying in as well. It appears we're going to get a roughing call tacked on. And that flag accepted. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Bills going to take over now late in this first half. Well, not much time remains here in this first half. We'll see if they can get something out of this drive, at least a field goal. They could certainly use it down by two scores. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. now looks to throw escaping the pressure right and he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. he'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running so it'll leave him with second and a yard to throw it's allen sliding out of the pocket he finds his man complete it's davidson and he is tackled inside the 40 not quite to the 35. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and 10. To the air, Allen eluding the pressure right. They'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. A final shot before half for Allen, and he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off for the pressure. Maybe that was for the best, as that brings us to the end of this first half of play. All right, we'll bypass the halftime show in favor of returning to this late season game with the teams coming back from the locker rooms here a bit early. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. And the half will begin with a touchback. Out come the Bills now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And right out of the gate, they face what you think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know, they're down two scores. That's not the end of the world. It wasn't the strongest of first halves, but for them to start clawing back, they've got to start putting a little pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that done. Flush to his right. He's got a man complete. Now he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. Here's Allen on first and 10. Flushed out right. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Now Allen, escaping the pressure right. 
And this one almost intercepted. Had a chance to come down with it in the end zone, but could not hang on. Here's second and ten. Here's Allen. Eluding the pressure right. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. But defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable. That's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushed, rush coming, and he's taken down. And the defense coming through on third down, a loss of seven to bring up four. We've seen him escape similar situations earlier in the game and get away from pretty good yardage, and that time they get him down. Yeah, they've had enough evidence that he can get away and run for good yardage, haven't they? That time it felt like, okay, enough of this. Let's play it the right way and get him on the ground before he does any damage. So that Charles, a season long right there. And you know who's really excited about that? The special teams coordinator, because he's the one who has to tell the head coach in pregame, this is where we trust him from. This distance, he can hit it, and he repaid that trust by knocking that one right through. And they'll start at the 25 as McKinnon decides against returning it. As the offense re-emerges, there's wide receiver Kadarius Toney leading him out. Pretty good game for him so far. I guess he's still got time here to make this a great game, but so far, he's been solid. I like where you're going with that because it has been pretty good, but there's always that hint that things can really escalate for him. And right now, they, they feel like they're somewhat keeping him in check, but he has found the end zone once. But boy, he can explode at any moment. Yeah, when you hit that end zone once, you want to find it again, don't you? <laughs> yes, you do. You, you, get, you, hungrier. You, you get greedy in a good way. On second down, here's Mahomes. Open man right side is Tony. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Got a man, that's Richie James. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 11 more on that one, and another first down. First down. First and 10 at the 46 yard line. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 12 more yards there and another first down. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. That'll be cut. It's Tony. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. To throw, it's Mahomes. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. They may be snapping the ball near the goal line, but all you're thinking defensively, keep them out of the end zone. Force the incompletion, force them into going for three and not giving up six. Now it's Mahomes again. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. Leonard Floyd, the old Georgia Bulldog, finding his way into the backfield. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football, had to eat it, and ended up on the ground. Here's Mahomes, third and goal. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. So on fourth down, Mahomes off. Harrison Butker on for the Chiefs' field goal. Butker's kick here is good. And they will extend their lead even further. So the lead grows here incrementally, but I think the way their defense is playing, you feel okay with just getting through. They've definitely been stuck so far, but now that can all change because if one guy gets loose for 70 yards, this is a different game. But as it stands, field goals are good. Just keep adding to that lead. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And after
after the field goal last time and see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them wanted to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that were the best. They weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. On second down, this is Harris. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. On any running play this call, they're always hoping it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Flush to his right. Oh, he just needed to throw it away, but instead, out of bounds he goes, and that's a sack. Boy, that is a seven-yard loss. Second down now. We're back now in KC. The Bills have the football, but they trail here as we begin quarter number four. On second down, here's Allen rolling to his left. Open man downfield is Davis. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. And the officials here going to pause the game for a second. Looks like there's an injured chief on the field. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. He will find Diggs in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. Stephon Diggs from 21 yards away. And the Bills have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Okay, I know it's an old line, but it still applies here. The fat lady has not sung yet. She may be warming up, but she hasn't sung yet. There's still an opportunity. So now an important conversion attempt here as the Bills line up to go for two. They're going to run it with Harris. And he will dive into the end zone, and the two-point conversion is successful. Well, I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call, and he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion, and now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And they'll start at the 25 as McKinnon decides against returning it. So the Chiefs offense heads out. There's a look at the playoff picture in the AFC. And I tell you, four weeks still to go, and everything is wide open, and it's fun. And I know we always talk about, well, if the playoffs were to begin today, and then we kind of go, okay, but they're not. Let's see how it plays out. Wouldn't it be fun to play with this playoff lineup right now? Because to me, just about anyone can win this whole thing out of this grouping we currently have. And by the time we get there, it may look entirely different. Mahomes to throw on second down. And they take him down. Bills get to him. Leonard Floyd able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. And they weren't in zone coverage. They were in man, and each man did his job. And that looked like vintage, old-school coverage, didn't it? Man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team. They had a Hall of Famer at one corner and a defensive player of the year at the other, and they just locked people down. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. Here's Hardy set to return. Call that a 46-yard punt, though they did get nine back on the return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and ten. Back now on offense, the Buffalo Bills. 
And you sense the tide turning. They scored, then their defense forced the punt, and now a chance to ultimately take the lead here late. A handoff to Harris to begin the drive. And this one not going anywhere. They get him at the 44 for a gain of just a yard. Harris going to get it again on second down. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 47 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. I tell you, they didn't give it to him much for the first three quarters, but when they have, he's been efficient. Maybe they ride him more here down the stretch. Hey, I'm not sure it was actually in the game plan for him to have as few carries as he has, but it might play out really well for them now. As you noted, they want to ride him down the stretch. He should have fresh legs. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he'll keep it moving down to the 15-yard line. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to KC. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Harris. And they'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. And there we go, third and one. Gut check time on both sides. running straight ahead and they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone and hold on here because on that last run it looks like we have a player who was shaken up only way to get the lead here of course with a touchdown and that's what they're gunning for on first and goal Harris and they'll bring him down after just a short pickup two of their three red zone trips so far they've come up empty on they'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal and before the second down play we'll get a whistle a signal and a timeout it's just their first they'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter they'll try and run with Harris and he takes it in across the chalk for a Bills touchdown. Damian Harris with now 15 rushing touchdowns on the year. And the Bills have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. So the rushing touchdowns continue to stack up, C.D. That now 15 for him on the year. And give him a ton of credit for staying healthy, being a smart runner, and it's showing just how important he's been to his team. He's got to be their MVP at this point in the season, and those votes may have been turned into league MVP votes, but it's all said and done. And he will dive into the end zone, and the two-point conversion is successful. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And they'll start at the 25 as McKinnon decides against returning it. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. Now the bad news for them, they've seen that cushion they once had totally evaporate, and they're working from behind. The good news, they now have the opportunity to regain the lead right back. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Here's a second and seven. Now Mahomes. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's James. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 
Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Mahomes firing complete. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. And that last throw, CD, going to move him even further up that all-time passing leaderboard as he just moved beyond Broadway Joe, Joe Namath, at 27,663 yards. And that's impressive because Joe Namath, my goodness, he could throw a football. I mean, it was just gorgeous the way he threw it. Rallied his Jets to a Super Bowl win, one of the greatest upsets in NFL history. Broadway Joe, the man. Mahomes to throw it. That's complete to Tony. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 24-yard line. Mahomes. He'll drop this off to Pacheco. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. It drives some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. Mahomes. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Here's third down and five. Here's Mahomes. Pass taken in by his big tight end. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the third. Wow, wow. So now an extra point doesn't help much. They'll try to go for two to make the difference a field goal, and they can lead it by three. Now Mahomes. And this is caught, and it's a three-point game. So they make the decision. They want a three-point lead versus a two-point lead, and they got it. Yeah, at this stage of the game, it seems like the exact right thing to do. Put a little pressure on your defense, but the biggest thing now is you're making the other team chase you. Allen and the Bills now down by a field goal, 33 seconds to go. Their long win streak in great peril as they come up first and 10. some time right and he gets this complete to Diggs able to get this all the way out close to midfield just what the doctor ordered on play one of this drive and crunch time well this offense still has the one time out here remember first and ten here's Allen it away and it falls down incomplete. Another try, second and ten now. To throw is Allen. Out to his left. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Nowhere to go downfield, but he's able to get out of bounds and stop the clock here with a first down. That one checks all the boxes, doesn't it? You get the first down, check. Get out of bounds, stop the clock, check. Well, how about one last check? Keep your quarterback from getting hit. That's a big check. Yeah, check there as well. Good call. And he gets us down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. And whistles, and they take their final timeout with seven seconds left. And what a big play because now you're guaranteed at least a shot at extending this one. He had the 40-yard line picked out as his bare minimum to give them some kind of a game-tying attempt, and he got there. Excellent determination on that scramble, and it might just help them snatch away a victory. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. And here come the whistles and a timeout with seven seconds left. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to potentially send us to overtime. And 
And this one is right down the middle. And they will tie this game here in the final seconds. So a money kick there in the final seconds. And now, barring any hijinks on the kickoff here, partner, I think you and I, we're going to settle in for a little overtime. And I wouldn't have it any other way. This has been a dogfight all through regulation. No reason to think it won't continue in the extra period. So overtime on the horizon, barring a wild finish here as the kick's away. And with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll start things out at the 25. They'll come up first and 10 here. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line. Time to decide this one after four quarters of play. We're all even. The extra session in a moment. This is the NFL on EA Sports. It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. So four quarters couldn't decide it, and it'll be the Chiefs who get the football first in this overtime session. And no return here to begin the overtime session. That'll be a touchback. And Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. All set up for him right now, Charles. Opening possession of overtime. They've got the football. They also obviously have this home crowd behind them in a big way. They get that extra energy from them, but they've got to be careful not to let that adrenaline get away from them and play too fast or create errors of their own making. Use that energy, embrace it, but make sure they channel it the right way. They've got a chance to go downfield, score a touchdown, and end this game. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Keeping the aggression going on defense in overtime here, a first down blitz. You know you can get burned on it big time if they pick it up. But in this situation, they brought the blitz, put some pressure on the QB, and he wasn't able to complete a pass downfield. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. My first thought is surprise, because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Throwing is Mahomes on third. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they work this well up field across the 45. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. And his throw is incomplete. Everything looked right on that play except the conclusion. He dropped it. An in route going into a little bit of traffic. Maybe in the back of his mind, he was wondering where the hit was going to come from. A run by Pacheco on second down. Able to slither by. And able to break one tackle and then quickly brought down. A nice little game. Four yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Here comes a big one now in overtime. This is third and in inches. They'll try for the first with Pacheco. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. He lost two, and it brings up fourth. Here's the Chiefs punter now. On for a very important punt here in overtime. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. The Bills offense coming out, ready to take over. Well, their defense, they did the important thing. They got the stop. They didn't allow a point. But now they're backed up here pretty far, Charles. Going to need a significant drive to try to get into position for the game-winning field goal. Yeah, partner, don't you think that defense is on the sidelines right now saying, don't come to us with your problems about where you're starting? We did the important part. We kept them off the board, kept us in the ball game. Find a way to maneuver it downfield, at least get in the field goal range, and get us a win. Rolling to his right. And he's got his target, Harris. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Just straight money right there. The biggest drive of the game, a chance to win it in overtime. If they've been saving that play, 
They sure pulled it out at the right time. A huge turn of events there. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. is down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Next score wins, but remember, this will be a tie if the period ends with no scoring as they work on second down. Allen, they'll roll him out right. That's to the tight end, Davidson. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. His running ability has been an extra dimension of their game plan thus far. For once, though, he doesn't create any magic against the front that's prepared for him to try and take off. Throwing his alley, escaping the pressure right. And oh, it's incomplete. Six points, but somehow he couldn't rein it in. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Now Allen sliding out of the pocket. And a find the open man. That's complete. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Little OT scramble drill that time, Mr. Davis. And partner, I can tell you from personal experience, nothing drives a defense crazier than having things covered and the quarterback takes off and picks up a first down or big yardage. Because whether you're in zone or man, it's easy to lose track of him because you don't always have someone assigned to him. And once he goes, now everybody's scrambling to try and tackle him. Second and 10. Here's Allen. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And he's brought down. That's a good effort there after the catch. He looked the ball in and then tried to get it to the goal line. What a nice tackle to get him down. But they're set up well now. First and goal at the one. And he is in for the score. And it is absolute stunned silence here as they win it on the road in overtime. That was an excellent come-from-behind victory, Charles, especially there in the fourth quarter. Both offense and defense were clicking. They're going to feel good about this one. Boy, are they ever, because the deficit they faced certainly wasn't small. They obviously did not give up on that one. And in the end, how about that 